Hey guys, Zaryu here, and today I'm going to be breaking down some double mage gameplay with Mitch. More specifically, the double mage games that we ran up to 3,000 rating. So these games are going to be pretty freaking awesome. But if you're not playing double mage, there's still going to be a ton of nuggets of gold in here teaching you guys how to push up rating, focusing on win conditions, and just in general how to play high rated WoW PvP Arena. But first, I want to say thank you to Whoop for sponsoring today's video. If you guys do not know what a Whoop band is, it's a wrist wrap I have around my wrist. A lot of people go, hey, Zar, what watch are you wearing? It's a whoop strap, my friends. It's a whoop strap. It checks my sleeping, my recovery, all through just this sleek wrist wrap around the wrist, okay? All in an app on the phone. So here you go, guys. Within the app, wait, I'm waiting for it to focus. We got the recovery score. We got the day strain. We got the calories burned. We got sleep on here, all right? If you click on pretty much anything on the screen, it's going to give you a a detailed breakdown. So this is my sleep. Yes, I got nine hours of sleep. It was absolutely amazing. Detailed breakdown of my sleep throughout the night, different stages of sleep, deep sleep, how long I was awake, light sleep, REM sleep, absolutely everything within the app. But this month with Whoop, guys, I'm going to be testing it out. I'm a scientist. All right, we're doing an experiment. I'm trying to get off blue light. All right, so that's the, the light coming from my phone or computer monitors at least 30 minutes before bed every night for this entire week. I want to see how that affects my recovery. If you guys want to stay up to date, on if that's gonna help my recovery score, hurt my recovery score, see what it does to me personally, follow along on the socials. If you guys wanna check out Whoop, we have a 15% off coupon down below. Click on the link. But without further ado, let's begin the 3K rated push. So here we have Tiger's Peak Arena. We got Paladin, where's my mouse? Here's my mouse. We got Paladin, let's put some jams on too. We got Paladin, Warrior, Feral Druid, Let's press play. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee as well. Yeah, we're doing it live. Mm. Mm. All right, so we're pushing in, guys. These games are not by accident, all right? So the reason I wanted to do this breakdown video is I think a lot of people might think, oh, Double Mage, Omega Lol, you're memeing, right? No, there's a lot of principles from these games that you can take into any composition um, I guess any mage composition, okay? And I, I'm gonna show you guys that right here. So we double invis in, Pally's coming in on his mount. The enemy team has a Pally, a warrior, and a feral. We wanna open Paladin. How do we open Paladin? We CC the Paladin so we can't move. We cross CC, and then we're gonna throw out Hammer of Justice. Let's see how this happens. Ring of Frost around the Paladin. He moves, so I move my Ring of Frost, and Mitch Jones Dragon Breath the Pally, okay? Now with his Dragon's Breath, we're gonna throw the ring around him so we can't actually move. I'm a little bit of lag there with the with the replay, but the Cyclone's coming out, Stun's coming out. We get the ring around the Pally, so he can't actually move out of the ring, so we're keeping him in place with this. He runs into the ring, Feral charges on over here. We get the, the, the ring onto the Pally, so this is actually fantastic. This is great. It looks as if there's a War Banner down because the ring is only half DR. Yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button, baby. Yeah, we're just, we're just replaying. So this all happened really fast. Dragon's Breath, Ring, we Hammer of Justice, the Paladin. We get the Pally's Trinket. I use Combustion, on use Trinket, Meteor, two Fire Blasts, and a Pyro. And Mitch also uses Combustion, okay? Now, what's the lesson here? We got Trinket. We're done, okay? From here on out, the only objective in the game is to survive. That's why I'm pollying the Warrior and resetting cooldowns. That's why I'm casting Night Fae right now. Look at Mitch. Look at what Mitch and I are doing. We're both just casting fireballs. We're trying to get another combustion back. Why? So that we can sheep the pally again, put a ring around the pally, and force his bubble. Okay? All we're doing, fireballs going for the reset. Okay, does this look familiar, my friends? We sheep the pally. We ring around the pally. This time, pally has no trinket. We're going to be ring of frosting the warrior. Cyclone's being casted from the druid, so if I wanted to, I could counterspell the cyclone or even throw a dragon's breath out onto the druid. And what's the objective here? The objective here would be to force the paladin's bubble. So let's see if we can do that. Um, our healer, Beef Daddy Do, aka C Do, is in the full hammer of justice. Okay, so we have to keep their pally CC'd until our healer can then stun their healer with no trinket. Counterspell comes out on the Cyclone, just like we said it would. Dragon's Breath, Ring of Frost, out on to the Druid. Okay, so this is literally perfect. We got triple CC. 
All right, we got the counter spell on the Druid. We're casting a Greater Pyroblast. Now, the reason I'm casting a Cheap Eye here is because I don't have Combustion, meaning we need more damage to Force Bubble here. With just normal Fire Blasts, we probably, with, with standard RNG, wouldn't have enough damage to actually force bubble. So casting the Greater Pyro is very important here. If I can get this G-Pie off, so Mitch gets a G-Pie and I get a G-Pie. That is two pies, baby. Two pies in the air, both landing into that Hammer of Justice, feeling really good about it. So with two pies just like that, um, they're both landing. We should force bubble. Okay. I was like, man, I hope we force bubble because uh, that's what I said we were gonna do. But boom, baby, just like I said we were gonna do, we forced out bubble, okay? So both pies connect, we force bubble. So what does that mean? In the first go, we got the trinket. We chilled for a bit, we sheep the pally. Second go, we got the bubble. Great, third go. We got any uh, guessers on what we're gonna get in the third go, guys? No trinket, no bubble? That's right, we're gonna get the kill, okay? So we, we go in, we get the trinket, we reset. We go in, we get the bubble, we reset. And now you're starting to learn how mages played in Arena. It's very cyclical. We're, get, we're getting uh, uh, the enemy's defensive cooldowns. We're resetting our cooldowns. What am I doing here? I'm casting Fireball. I'm trying to reset my combustion with Pyrokinesis. All right. Fireball. I have 25 seconds left on my combustion right now. 25 seconds left until we can one-shot the pally, right? Mitch just got his combustion back as well. So that's beautiful. All right. Casting a couple more fireballs. Boom. I have combust. Mitch has combust. Pally has no trinket. Pally has no bubble. Guess what happens next, my friends? We're running in. Throwing in that night face sprint. We're getting in after him. Let's see what happens here. See what happens here. Pally gets full shept. Okay, so, yeah, shept is the, the proper way to say sheep in the past tense. Okay, if anyone's wondering. I'm actually going to rewind this, though, because getting the sheep was... Difficult, right? So right here, I have two blinks. I Nova, Feral, blink in, and then blink again. So we double blink and ring around the pally and counterspell the Feral. So there's a lot of intricacies that just happened, right? We have 30 seconds to make this go happen. I'm pointing like you guys can see where I'm pointing. Let me use my mouse instead. Um, 30 seconds to make this go happen before the pally has trinket. Once he has trinket again, we can't kill him, right? Because he's just going to trinket and top himself just like he did in the first go. Okay, we have to make this happen within 30 seconds. So we double blink sheep pally to make it happen. That's why shimmer is so good. Um, we can then put the ring around the pally and counter spell the clone. There is nothing these guys can do to stop this go right now, all right? If Mitch uh, sheeps the warrior, it would be great. If he dragon breast sheeps the warrior or pandas the warrior, panda this, um, we can then one shot pally, okay? All our pally has to do is run up, throw the hammer of justice. We throw down the Meteor, on use Combust, Double Fire Blast, Pyro, Fire Blast, Pyro combo. And then Pally goes down every time. So let's see what happens. Spar Reflect goes out. We get the Spar Reflect off. Make sure not to Spell Reflect into that Hodge. Regrowth being casted. Mitch counterspells the Druid on the go. Beautiful. The Pally has intervened, but we force out the Reflect so we don't get the Reflect into the Hodge. And this is two mages combusting on you, bro. With no bubble, no trinket. I mean, you guys know, you guys know what happens here. You guys know exactly what happens here. He goes down. That's it. So this game was clockwork, my friends. 3K MMR game, double mage. We run in, we force trinket, we reset. We run in, we force bubble, we reset. We run in, he has no trinket or bubble, we kill. This is this is literally the game that you're hoping for. Now, whether you're playing double mage or whether you're playing rogue mage or whether you're playing feral mage, these same principles apply, okay? You run in, you get cooldowns, you reset. This is how mages played. Let me show you again in the next game. I think... All right, we're skipping through next game right here. Um, let me go backwards just a little bit. Boom. Ashmane's Fall. Okay. So we skipped through this game a little bit. Ashmane's Fall. Warrior. Windwalker. Paladin. Okay. This is our 3k push. Similar principles apply. Monk, no trinket. Paladin has trinket. We're running in. We got combustion. We need to get a go onto this paladin or the monk because monk has no trinket. Beef daddy dude's getting pressured. We put the ring of frost around him to peel double dragon's breath. And now we want to get this CC on the pally so we can get that nice, beautiful setup. We got the sheep on the pally. You guys probably can guess what happens next. We get that spell reflect off from the intervene. Very important. So warrior intervenes pally. We spell reflect. Um, we get the spell reflect off with the fire blast. We're running up to the pally cast in that preemptive greater pyroblast. And we're going to 
Oh no, we actually, so we get stopped on 99% there with beautiful stop there by Smexin with the Warrior Fear. So I actually don't get the G Pie, but we still have the Meteor Combust, Double Fire Blast, Pyro Fire Blast, Pyro Combo that we're, we've been talking about. And we force out the Paladin's Trinket and the Paladin's Wall. Monk still has no Trinket. Um, so you guys can kind of start to sense how we're setting these kills up, right? It's not just random. We're, we're thinking, okay, now next go, Pally has no Trinket. Maybe we can force out a bubble. Okay, once we force out that bubble, then we can um, get that final setup. So it's basically three goes to kill a pally. One go for trinket, one go for bubble. Um, and, oh, I can stop there on that sheep with that war stomp, unfortunate. We did get the karma from the monk, um, which is actually really, really good for us. So we can force out a lot of damage on the monk. Um, something breaks that, that sheep, which is actually really unfortunate. It might have been a phoenix flames from Mitch or something. I'm not exactly too sure. But the pally has no trinket. Um, and the monk has no trinket and the monk has no diffuse or karma. So monk is actually a very good kill opportunity as well um, So we could kill either one we sheep up the monk a couple times start casting some sheep eyes We get kick out of the way getting kick out of the way is fine, right? I want them to have no kick so we DB sheep the pally and we go all in on the monk All right now. This is a little off script. We're not just going pally for, to get his bubble. We're going monk why um, Monk has no Diffuse, like we just talked about. He has no Karma. And if we DB Sheep the Pally and Hodge the Monk, we're going to Force Bubble. So it effectively does the same thing as going Pally. All we wanted was to Force Bubble. Um, let me rewind so you guys can just see what's happening, right? Monk, no Diffuse, no Karma. Mitch blinks in, DB Sheep's Pally, Hodge Monk, huge damage, Pally bubbles, and sacks. Warrior rallies. So we get a lot of defensives from that, right? That was good. We got Rally, we got Bubble Sack, and now we have Combustion back in 13 seconds, or at least my Combustion. Mitch has another Combustion in one minute from now. So we can either go Monk again, although Monk has Trinket in five, or set up Pally, no Trinket, no Bubble. I would think in this situation, I actually don't remember what we did in this game, but I think going Pally is the play here because Pally has no Trinket and no Bubble for 30 seconds. I have Combust right now. We have to make this go happen soon. Beef Daddy Do has that big Hammer of Justice coming on up real soon here. So we want to make sure that um, we can get that 18 seconds though before Pally's Trinket. We have to just shove it, dude. We have to shove it. So we Nova the other two. We DB sheep the pally, ring around the rosy, as we say, 12 seconds left on that trinket. Both of the melee sitting in a double dragon's breath into a double nova. Mitch is controlling them over there. Ring of frost. I'm saying, see dude, send it, bro, send it, bro. There's the full hodge. Double trinket coming out from the DPS. And just like that, my friends, we get the Pally's Trinket, we get the Pally's Bubble by, by going Monk, and we set up with Combustion once again. 100 Owen, the Pally, Mitch, setting up the DPS, all right? Double DB, double Nova, double Ring of Frost, both DPS Trinket to peel, but it is too little, too late, my friends. We kill the Pally 100 to So, once again, guys, very similar script, all right? We're forcing, look, 3K MMR, this is what Arena is. Win conditions, all right? You're going in, you're forcing cooldowns, you're resetting. You're using your defensives to survive. All right, they're trying to kill you too, so you're rotating through your defensives. We'll do things like Alter Time, Shimmer, um, Blazing Barrier, all right? Sheep, Frost Nova, all right? And then when it's time to go, we're gonna get the Cross CC, we're gonna get the Hammer of Justice or that stun, or if you're playing with a Feral or a Warrior or a Rogue or whatever your, what comp you're playing as a Mage, it's the same thing. You're forcing defensives and then you're resetting. When they have nothing left, you go into the triple CC, you end the game with a combustion, and there it is, my friends. And there it is. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up button. If you did not enjoy the video, hit the thumbs down button. That's how that works. All right, leave me a comment down below for what type of videos you guys want to see next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to uh, keep track of the Whoop Challenge or if you want to keep track of me IRL. And thank you again to Whoop for sponsoring today's video. Link is down below. Definitely be sure to peep it. Don't forget to su subscribe. Su su subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.